and welcome back. Um, if you haven't guessed by my shirt, today we're going to be making pie because Dean loves his pie and it's that time of year. So I found a really good apple pie recipe. It's, it's different from the norm because it uses honey instead of the sugar. So it's kind of, it has less fat and calories than some of the other apple pies out there healthier apple pies and I did a test run a couple weeks ago and it was really good so that's the recipe I'm gonna be making for you today so first off ingredients it calls for I believe it was a pound of apples yes a pound of apples which it says is about eight cups now when I bought the apples for the test run um, I'm used to being under the impression that one apple is a cup uh, when I made the test run pie, uh, it only took five apples. So you're going to need about five apples. The recipe calls for Golden Delicious. So you're going to need about, again, five, maybe six Golden Delicious apples to get that eight cups or the one pound. It also takes three tablespoons of flour. It only calls for a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, but with the test run, I decided I wanted a little bit more cinnamon for this round of it. A third of a cup of honey. And again, the first one I did, I used local, raw, organic honey. This time around, I'm going to use uh, store-bought honey. And then it calls for two of the pre-made pie crusts, which is a great shortcut in the kitchen, a hack, if you will. They're delicious, and they're easy to use, and they come out great. And no one's the wiser that you didn't actually make that crust yourself. Hot tip. And then it says you can brush honey on the top. The last time I tried to use my spatula to brush it on the top, but this time around I actually bought a brush. So here we go. First step obviously is to peel and cut your apples. Eight cups of apples later, I can pick off the ones I flung and throw the stuff away and wash my hands. Now it's time to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, now that that's done, I can finish prepping the apples. And again, that's gonna be three tablespoons of flour. As I said before, this recipe only calls for a quarter tablespoon of the cinnamon, but I'm going to put a little bit more in this time. So there's what it calls for, and I'm just going to put in double. And a third of a cup of honey. Again, if your honey's been sitting around too long and it's crystallized, you just pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds, and it'll liquefy it right up. I'm guessing I should have done that a little bit more with this, but we can get it out. And this is why you can replace the sugar with honey, because honey really is sugar. Now stir it all together. Get those apples nice and coated. Okay, and now, hmm, sticky, now it's time to prepare the crust. Now, the key to these pre-made crusts is to make sure that they sit out to room temperature. And the great part is they're usually, they're usually on sale, like two boxes for five, so four pie crusts for five dollars, and you can freeze them if you're not going to use them right away. You just, again, have to make sure that you thaw them out. But you need to sit, let them come to room temperature. It makes them much easier to unroll. And that's usually my biggest problem with these, is I'm so anxious to make the pie that I forget, and then I can't unroll them, and they stick together, and they don't unroll nicely. But here is the pie crust. Now this recipe calls for both pie crusts. So you just you unroll it and you put it in your plate okay. 
and you put your apples in. Oh yeah, this looks much more cinnamony this time. It says, this recipe says to mound your apples in the middle. So let's get a nice little apple mound going. Now we're going to put our top crust on. Okay, roll this one out. Lay that on top, and then you're going to go around and press the edges together, make a nice crust. Make sure you seal the bottom to the top. We have a fancier name for it in the recipe. I'm just going to say go around, roll it in, pinch them together. And obviously, I'll link the, the recipe down below. But again, with apple pie, you can use any apple pie you want. This is just the one I chose because it was different than most of the apple pies that I'm used to. And you can cube your apples, you can slice your apples. Okay. And then the reason I saved the knife, you need to cut four slits. All right, and now there's the, the pie. You put it on a pan and you cook it for 55 to 60 minutes. See you in an hour for pie. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is smelling so good in here. Oh. I always run into this problem. It bubbled out and everywhere, but it's still gonna taste good even if it doesn't look good. Now, the recipe says you brush some honey on top and then you have to let it cool for four hours. So I saved the measuring cup and I'm just going to brush this honey on top. Maybe some of the goop that trickled out. I'll just brush it on top. Mmm. Gives it a nice uh, shine. And I'll see you in another four hours when it's cool and we can eat it. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It hasn't been the full four hours, but I really kind of want a piece of pie. And it's kind of cool, but now I can maybe have a piece warm. And actually, I have the perfect plate to eat my pie on. Dean says, eat more pie. I promise not to eat with my mouth open like Dean. So if you want to give this pie a try, it is the Betty Crocker Honey Roasted Pie Recipe. And like I said before, I will link it below. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. We'll do more Supernatural Eats to come. And until next time.